Summon of Solutions, Pilates on the Ball with Laura Hudson, Segment 4, Total Body Pilates. And I gotta tell you, some of the moves on it, I am not that flexible all to do. However, as always, I just pause, take a deep breath, and just do whatever my own modifications I can do. But, the, the final five minutes are a lot of fun, you'll see what I mean. There's the ball, there's me, let's get to work. And roll up to seated, really nice job. Now let's move into the kneeling side kicks. This is really great for the waistline and the side of your hip. Let's come up to kneeling right in the center of your mat. Take your left hip on the ball and extend your right leg out. Now, Drape yourself over and really try to get those fingertips down. Squeeze the ball with your arm. That's really going to help you stabilize. Tight belly, tight butt. Other hand behind the head. Now, with control, let's float this leg up. Good. For eight reps, flex the foot and inhale, bring it forward. Point the toe. I broke one of my legs back. way back Good. in 1980. Inhale, flex forward. On top of all that, back. I was now, I never really active when I was younger. Stay on the ball. You can always just reduce the kick. Right? That's okay. Just reduce the range of motion. 16 and a half, Good. and almost nice. 16 more. years now on this journey. Strong. See if you can get the leg a little higher. I'm much so more active than when I first started, and that's all that matters. We got last two. Last one here. Inhale, kick it back. Squeeze that hip. Now take that leg up and then forward on your mat. Now we're gonna do a really challenge, challenging balance exercise. Let's do the side plank. Take your lower leg in a straight position, flex that foot, squeeze everything you got, and float this leg back up and just hold on five. Hold on four, good, you can do it. Three, two, and down on one. Superb, take everything Woo! down, let's go to the other side. I did what I could, Bring huh? Bring the ball around. Hey everybody. Break your hip onto the ball, left leg goes out for a moment. Get that body all the way over so you can get those fingertips down. Squeeze that arm into the ball. Tight belly, tight butt. I'm gonna make a fist Hand this time. behind the head and here we go. Let's take that leg up. Good. Inhale, flex it forward. Exhale, push it back. Toe points. Inhale for seven. Good, now check in with those shoulders. Sometimes they creep up into the ears when thing get, things get hard, so just pull them down. Inhale, exhale, four more. Maybe that leg can go a little higher. Yes, good, really feeling that hip now. I'm afraid not. Last two. As I said, I just do what I can do. One more time, really nice movement, fluid, and there you go. Take that leg down in front edge of your mat, and now take that bottom leg down, straighten the leg, tighten everything you got here, and now let's take that top leg up and balance, five. Good, hold on to a tight butt, four, three, chest open, two, you got it, and everything comes down on one. Woo! Now, let's move into the quadruped with arm and leg lift. This is gonna work the back of your shoulder and your butt. Here we go. Place the ball right in the center of the mat. Drape your body over. Straighten your legs. They should be about mat distance apart. Fingertips about mat distance apart. Now, pull those shoulders down really strong through the body. Let's take the left leg up and hover it. Let's take the right arm forward and stabilize. We're gonna lift those limbs slowly for eight reps. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Good. I don't know if I'm Keep it down very close no, because lost. the whole body is really toned and long. We go for four more. Keep breathing. Last two. And last one. Nice job. Other side now. Pull everything together. Long body. Let's take the right leg up. The left arm forward. And we pulse for eight. And low. Pulse on seven. Slow it down. Really feel the shoulder and the hip working. And we go for four more. Create that resistance in your body. Last three. And one more time. Lift and lower. Nice work. Now let's move into the swan dive. My favorite. It's going to work the entire back of your body. Place the knees on the mat. Feet still about mat distance apart. And just drape your whole body over the ball with arms extended. Now on your inhale, you're going to throw yourself over the ball. Catch yourself with your hands. Uh -huh. Inhale, throw yourself over and lift. Move the chest onto the ball. 
lift those legs and then catch yourself with your feet. Very nice. Let's do three more. Let's do it. And inhale, look for This is the fun part. And exhale, catch yourself. Fun, fun, fun. Last two. Exactly. And let's Woo! Lift those legs and bring it back. Last time here. And lift. Really stretch. Bring those legs together for the last one. Open them up and catch yourself. Nice. I did what I could. Oh, damn, it was so much fun. Stretch forward, catch your breath, and roll up to seated. What a great total body Pilates workout. You've effectively combined so many muscle groups to strengthen your whole body. Fantastic. Thank you, Laura Hudson. And thank you, audience. See you later. Remember, I drive by Spotlight this Tuesday night.